So here's the scenario. There's some intense construction going on right below my office and there's holes in the floor here that they that they feed wires through and all the dust from the construction is coming up in my office. It smells terrible in here. So the gracious managers here at the Percolator co workspace offered a temporary digs for me across the street. So I'm about to move all of my stuff into my temporary office, which is a lot nicer than mine. So I'm not mad at that, but shout out to the Percolator space. If you are in the 757 area and looking for a co-work community, check out the Percolator space. The information is in the description. I need to move my stuff now. So this is Jimmy, the man with the plan, also known as one of my favorite human beings the in the Perca world. The Percolator. Yes, sir. So he pretty much uh, manages the percolator space pretty much and he's gonna rescue me right now. Very good. Thank you, sir. Don't forget about it. Oh, yeah Oh, look at her Holy <laughs> This is my favorite shih tzu in the world It's cool. You gotta go up these spiral stairs in order to get to the office So this is gonna be my temporary office until the construction is finished i don't know if i should do it man. i don't want to get spoiled by these uh these floor to ceiling windows <sighs> this is beautiful i'm gonna be able to make some amazing videos in here look at the view see the entire downtown from here it's pretty dope I love this little room right here. All right, to the left. Right here. Oh. It's open, it should be open. Oh. Oh. It's my favorite color wall. Exposed wow. bricks. <laughs> yeah, I have to run and rent this joint. You say get some wine? Yeah, I'm gonna prop my feet up and wash people. <laughs> Look, I'm so nosy, I don't need big windows like this. <laughs> no, that's a fact. You have never met a nosier person than this one. I'm gonna be that old lady that knows. I just know everything. Yeah, that's a I'm fact. gonna pretend I don't know either, but I don't know. I'm gonna come home and tell you, guess what happened? Well, Foreman, if you, don't rem if you don't remember, but this is my man Foreman. He is my image consultant. Let me step over here and get you some good lighting, man. I gotta, gotta hold you down, you feel me? So anyway, so he, he, pulled, up, he uh, pulled up with a few of the pieces that we got tailored. Let's, let's show him what we're working on, man. All the work. Yeah, yes sir. This is the work. This is work. this is this man's product right this here. Is work. Yes sir. Yes sir. So make sure you hit him up. I'll have his Instagram in the description below. My man is about to have me on my GQ. You're done though. What up squad? Before we continue this video, I want you guys first and foremost to hit the like button. I need the likes. And also share the channel with your friends. I need us to get to 500,000 subscribers. Last time, when we hit 100,000 subscribers, I got the Brick Squad tattoo. Holy shit. This time, I need you guys to give me some ideas for what I should do. I was gonna shave my head, but nah, that's dead. I'm not shaving my head. So for 500,000 subscribers, comment below what you guys think I should do. I, mean, I have no clue, sky's the limit. Anything except shave my head. But anyway, the title of this video is uh, we, we talking about fake confidence now I think there's a right way to fake confidence and then there's a wrong way to fake confidence and um, we all heard that term fake it till you make it and that's kind of controversial some people say no you shouldn't fake it I think there's a difference between faking it till you make it and lying to people or trying to create a false image about yourself to the public that's not what I'm suggesting you do uh, let's rewind the clock back six years ago when I was about 350 pounds I had this much confidence. I was broke, I was overweight, I was behind on all my promises, and I had to do something about it. I had an, a vision to change my life. I had a plan to change my life, but I did not have the confidence to execute on these plans. And the confidence is everything. It's everything. 
we can't do anything without confidence. So what I did was, <laughs> as a 350 pound overweight guy, I started telling myself that I was confident. I would lie to myself. I would put on this front to the world that I was confident and it was borderline cocky because I had to reprogram my thinking. I had to somehow summon the ability to execute on these big, gigantic, scary plans that I have for my life. So slowly, the fake confidence started giving me these powers to get things done. And as I started executing on things and, and, and gathering wins, this fake confidence started turning into real confidence. I started making more money and Listen, y'all, I'm about to start talking more about the financial education aspect of life and wellness because, listen, just as important health is to wellness, being good financially is just as important. I'm about to really get into that a little bit deeper, but I'm just going to start by sharing what I'm doing because, listen, in 2013, when I started my journey, I was dead broke, and I'm far from rich, but I'm in a really good place. And I want to share with you guys how I did that. Comment below if you guys would be interested in, in going over some numbers and hearing how I changed my financial status from being severely in debt to now being on the way to making seven figures. I spoke about this fake confidence a little bit on my on my podcast. So what I'm going to do now is cut to that clip. This confidence, the, con the fake confidence, and I hate to say it like that, kind of gave me the ability to change the situation, right? That's yeah. what I built my my channel on. That's what I built my brand on. This kind of like, I, and I hate to keep saying fake confidence, but it was fake. And at some point, it kind of, it went from this confidence that I was just telling myself that I had to the confidence that I truly had. I don't really yeah. know when that happened, right? But it happened slowly. Sure. Very slowly. If you look at any of my early videos, bro, me and my wife, we were in this apartment and we were struggling. I didn't have nothing. If anything was to go down, I had to have some very uncomfortable conversations with my children, bro, that to this day, I will never forget. You know, like my, my kid's mom and her husband, they are very stable. She's a nurse practitioner. He's a state trooper. They have really, you know, good jobs. You know, they have right. a beautiful 3,000. 3,000 square foot home. They have the very traditional white picket fence kind of lifestyle, right? And me, on the other hand, I'm a struggling YouTuber at 30 something years old. And yeah. my kids, they come with, they come to my house and I have to tell them like, nah, we can't, we can't go out to eat all the time. We can't go to the movies and and do all these fun things where that's what they're used to. That's their lifestyle with their stepdad and right. their mom, right? And when they came over here at this time, I didn't have any money, bro. You know how hard it was for me to sit my kids down and say, listen, we're going to have to have fun in the house because daddy doesn't have money right now. That was yeah. tough. And I, sure. it, it was a shot to me, but it could have, it could have really destroyed me. But if I didn't have the confidence in my vision, you know, that would have destroyed me, bro. And it was hard. And now I have the ability to say to my kids, because it wasn't that long ago. Hey, you remember when we had this conversation? Da, 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 mm -hmm. and, and daddy didn't have money. And I, I can show my son, like, look, this is, I sacrificed. I put in hard work. They see me working, bro. They see me working every yeah. single day. And to be able to, to, to not just tell that lesson but to show them that's yeah. powerful and I, I feel so blessed you know to, to for that to be the truth it was the confidence it was the fake confidence at first that led me to achieving things and that led me to putting forth the effort and constantly day in and day out putting in the work to change my body change my financial situation and that was all fueled by lies that I told myself in the beginning. And I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed to admit it, it was lies. I did not believe it at first, but I still told myself over and over, and that is why I was able to face my fears, and that is why I was able to attack 
what at the time was a big ass mountain, right? When we're talking weight loss, when we're talking debt, when we're talking financial situation, it was a big mountain for me to climb. But if I focused on all the steps, you know, if I overthought it, if I, 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 put, I put too much detail in the planning, then it would have discouraged me. It would have, it, would have, it would have made me even less confident than I was. I, I lied to myself. I told myself it was going to be easy. I said, man, I need to lose 160 pounds. That's easy. Knowing damn well it was a lie, but the fact that I told myself it was easy, for some reason, that gave me the confidence to attack it. It made me feel like I can actually do it. So it starts here. Start by lying to yourself. Start by faking confidence. Start by faking courage. Even if you're afraid, fake it. Do whatever you have to do in order to take action. Because that's all this takes. It takes constant action, consistency, resiliency. But you have to, you have to take the steps. All the contemplating in your head, all the hiring coaches and watching YouTube videos, none of that shit's gonna help if you don't put in the work, if you do not take the actions. Brick Squad, I love y'all. Listen, I am no different from you. I am, I am you. I am you. There's nothing I'm doing with my life that you can't achieve. Trust me when I tell you that. You just gotta figure out what works for you and keep doing that. And the only way to do that is to be consistent. Now.